Today, I'm going to show you how to create the ultimate presence detection sensor for your Home Assistant dashboard. This custom sensor will allow you to combine all your presence detection sensors into one to get the best of all worlds. We will be merging the new states from my Level Up Your Presence Detection in Home Assistant video with ESP Presence for Room Level Presence Detection and any zone you created in Home Assistant. And if you're ready, let's go! To get this working, you are going to need a blueprint from my Level Up Your Presence Detection in Home Assistant ESP Presence Room Level Detection already set up, and the ESP Presence Tolerance Update Blueprint from my ESP Presence Music Follow video. I know that this sounds like a lot of work, but you can visit the tutorial that you want to set up, click on the content of the video that you need on the left bar, and this will take you directly to the part of the video that you need. After you have all of that configured, just go to Sensor Template, and here we just need to copy and paste this code into our configuration YAML file. If you already have another template sent up like me, just paste the code and erase the first three lines. First, we need to update the name of the sensor. Then, we need to change the person or the device tracker that we want to use. Then, we need to select the input select that we created from my Level Lab Present Detection video. Then, we need to select the input select that we created from my ESP Presence Tolerance Update Blueprint. What this is going to do is, since false positives are not a thing for ESP Presence, every time that the ESP Presence value is different than away, we are going to use this sensor. And because false negatives are a thing for ESP Presence, if the ESP Presence sensor detects a person as away, it will fall back to the person or device tracker entity. This will take care of the false negatives and also give support for any zone that you configure in your home assistant. And the first condition will give support for the just arrived, just left, away and extended away states from my level up your presence detection video, giving you the best of all worlds. And for the entity picture, you just need to upload an image to the www folder. For this, just click here, scroll down, Open the folder, click Upload, click File, and select the image that you want. And then just click OK. Then you just need to update the name here. Keep the first part intact, just update the name. And then just give it a name. Now click on Save. And we are going to restart from Assistant. For this, go to Developer Tools, click on Restart, and Restart. After it's finished, just click on States and look for the sensor that we just created. And that's it. This sensor is ready to use in your dashboard. For this, go back to my website and we're going to use the Mushroom card. If you don't have it installed, you can use the button here to install it in Hux. After you install it, just go to Overview, click on the triads here and click on Edit Dashboard. Then click on add a card. Here, look for grid. And we are going to look for mushroom template. Then just click on it. And here we need to select the sensor that we just created. Then erase the icon. For primary information, just copy and paste the code from my website. And here, update the name of the sensor. Now, for secondary information, do the same. And update the sensor name. And then, copy from my web the code for batch icon. And here we need to update the name of the person or the device tracker that we are using. And then in picture, we are going to put the same picture as in our configuration now. Then scroll down and select multi-line secondary. And for tap action, select more info. 
and that's it you can uncheck render cards as squares and you can set a number of columns to give it more space and then you can just copy and paste this one and just update the name of the sensors if you want to change the color of the batch just scroll down and you can put any rgb color in the batch color section and that's it then just click on save and if you want change the order click on done and that's it and now i'm going to show you how to create sounds for this go back to my website and here go to create sounds and click on this button click on open link and from here you can create sounds a zone is a point in the map that you can identify with a name let's say that i want to create a zone for my workplace for this just click on add a zone give it a name and then you can drag this point in the map to whatever you want you can adjust the area and then just click on add and that's it from now on, every time that Home Assistant detects that you are here, it will set your state as work. If you like my dashboard, you can watch this video to get started. And if you like my work, please consider supporting me on Coffee using the button on my website or the link in the description. Either way, I will be eternally thankful. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!